uh, that seems such a bizarre uh, complaint but I guess everything is racist now not inviting your kids friends to stay for dinner is racist and hateful sure of course it is that's crazy like uh, for example look I'll give you an example in Canada it's a cultural thing to a certain degree right um, in Canada my cousins when they were kids they had friends neighbors in the neighborhood like neighbors kids that were friends right and Armenian tradition is very food centric right so when the neighbors kids were playing at my cousin's place when they were about to eat have dinner and stuff their kids could stay and have dinner right they did at times right and there was usually you know there's rice and all that. there's food to go around right because Armenian life is food centric right there's food usually right lots of food so the kids would stay for dinner sometimes right but when my cousins were at their neighbor's house when it was time for them to have dinner the parents of the neighbors would say okay kids you guys have to go home it's time for us to have dinner right and my cousins would come home right this wasn't something that the family really held in contempt some did some thought hey that's wrong how come they do this and stuff and i would always say look this is a cultural thing just because food is plentiful in your house it doesn't mean it's plentiful in their house and it doesn't mean their house is food centric because canadian homes much of canadian culture is not a food centric culture or hasn't been for a long time okay only recently has food really got uh, sort of is uh, got into people's families where people are food food oriented right like when i was growing up here in canada i would i would have friends come over for dinner and they wouldn't even know what rice was we put rice on the table they go what's that <laughs> i would laugh i go what do you mean what's that that's rice you eat it they go, oh. right so it's a cultural thing i don't know if that's what's going on in sweden and people are calling it racist but anyone that's calls calls everything racist is an idiot is a moron everything in the world is not racist right really very few things in the world actually are racist and this is coming from someone who's faced racism i've gotten into fights with people over racism i've had people tell me to speak speak english in their country in canada when i was speaking armenian or farsi to family or friends right and sometimes the situation got a little tense right depending on my mood right uh so all this racism going around is silly